This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the standard electrode potential. So we'll start with a definition. The standard electrode potential is the electrode potential measured in volts of a half cell measured under standard conditions relative to the standard hydrogen electrode. As we saw in a previous video, the standard hydrogen electrode is assigned a value of zero volts. The electrode potentials of other half cells are measured relative to the standard hydrogen electrode. Section 24 of the IB Chemistry Data Booklet has a list of standard electrode potential values. The more negative the electrode potential value, the stronger the reducing agent. So these half cells at the top of the table have the more negative electrode potential values. This means they are stronger at reducing agents and more likely to undergo oxidation. The more positive the electrode potential value, the stronger the oxidizing agent. So these half cells at the bottom of the table, these have the more positive electrode potential values. This means they are stronger oxidizing agents and more likely to undergo reduction. Next we look at the reactions that take place when a zinc half cell is connected to a standard hydrogen electrode. So here we can see the zinc half cell on the left and the standard hydrogen electrode on the right. Oxidation takes place at the zinc half cell, which is the anode, and the electrons flow to the cathode, which is the standard hydrogen electrode. The reading on the voltmeter shows 0.76 volts. And here we have the half equations for the reactions that take place in each half cell. So we have the oxidation of zinc metal to form zinc ions, and the reduction of hydrogen ions to form hydrogen gas. And here we can see the net ionic equation for the reaction. So as we saw in the previous slide, oxidation occurs at the zinc half cell and reduction occurs at the standard hydrogen electrode. This is because the standard electropotential value for the zinc half cell, which is negative 0.76 volts, is more negative than that of the standard hydrogen electrode. The cell potential, that's the voltage produced when the two half cells are connected, can be calculated using this equation. So the cell potential is equal to the standard electropotential of the half cell that undergoes reduction, minus the standard electropotential of the half cell that undergoes oxidation. Reduction occurred at the standard hydrogen electrode, which has a standard electropotential of zero volts. Oxidation occurred at the zinc half cell, which has a standard electropotential of negative 0.76 volts. So this gives us a cell potential of positive 0.76 volts, which is the same as the reading on the voltmeter in the previous slide. In the next example, we have a copper half cell connected to a standard hydrogen electrode. The reading on the voltmeter shows 0.34 volts. If we look at the flow of electrons, they flow from the anode, which in this case is the standard hydrogen electrode, to the cathode, which is the copper half cell. And here we have the half equations for the reactions that take place in each half cell. In the copper half cell, copper ions are reduced to form copper metal. In the standard hydrogen electrode, hydrogen gas is oxidized to form hydrogen ions. And here we can see the net ionic equation for the reaction. So in the previous slide, we saw that oxidation occurs at the standard hydrogen electrode and reduction occurs at the copper half cell. This is because the standard electropotential for the copper half cell, which is positive 0.34 volts, is more positive than that of the standard hydrogen electrode. Once again, we can use this equation to calculate the cell potential. So the copper half cell undergoes reduction and the standard hydrogen electrode undergoes oxidation. This gives us a cell potential of positive 0.34 volts. So let's end with a summary, referring back to section 24 of the IB data booklet. When a half cell above hydrogen in the electrochemical series is connected to a standard hydrogen electrode, electrons flow from the half cell to the standard hydrogen electrode and the electropotential value is negative. So when connected to a standard hydrogen electrode, any half cell from lead upwards will undergo oxidation. This is because the metal in the half cell is a stronger reducing agent than hydrogen gas. 
Conversely, when a half cell below hydrogen in the electrochemical series is connected to a standard hydrogen electrode, electrons flow to the half cell from the standard hydrogen electrode and the electropotential value is positive. So when connected to a standard hydrogen electrode, any half cell below hydrogen, starting with this copper half cell, will undergo reduction. This is because the ions in the half cell are stronger oxidizing agents than hydrogen ions.